Details tonight on a shooting investigation. A gunman opened fire on a pizza delivery car overnight, injuring two people. It happened on Burnside Street in South Providence, and today we went back to the neighborhood to talk to eyewitnesses. Eyewitness News reporter Walt Buteau joins us live now with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. This all started developing about six minutes after midnight here at the corner of Potter's and Burnside. This is Burnside right here. And the pizza delivery man had just dropped off a pizza. He came back outside to his car, and that's when the gunman showed up, armed and firing. The suspect stepped in front of the victim's car, and when Claudio Rodriguez saw the gun, he tried to drive away. I heard gunfire. When the gunfire started, she was in bed with her child. I didn't see anything, but I heard it. I dragged the baby off the bed, and that was it. I was scared. I didn't want the bullets to come through the window. An estimated five shots were fired, according to police. Rodriguez was grazed in the back. A 17-year-old co-worker in the passenger seat was hit in the forearm. The 17-year-old girl who was shot in the arm was too shaken up to talk on camera, but her father tells us she is doing as well as could be expected. Rodriguez had just delivered a pizza to this customer who did not want to be identified. Yeah, I got a teenager. She came down running. She said, it was shooting. It was shooting out there. We all went to the floor because I was like, oh, they're shooting outside. And then um, I seen the cops that came and stuff. But I don't know what happened. The cops was looking everywhere. Witnesses spotted the man with the gun running down this alley after pulling the trigger. Surveillance camera on the building appeared to be within range of the scene. And those are the surveillance cameras right there on the side of a Salvation Army daycare center. No, no doubt a big part of this investigation as police continue to look for the suspect in this shooting. Live in the Mobile Newsroom, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.